กฎ These are areas that are very low network coverage. So you can actually tell. You don't need, like uh, the deputy president said, you don't need to, you don't need rocket science to imagine what happened. Nyandarwa County, Bora Primary School Polling Station, the Kim's Gate failed. By 6 p.m., the only 10, only 90 people had voted. It was above Kim's Gate failed. This one is more, even more interesting because voting was extended until 3 a.m. Ile Masai ya Simon Peter ya Maombi. Sasa juu ni maombi gani walikuwa nafanya sa hiyo, ilikuwa razima hiyo ilikuwa kuomba kula, ijue kabisa. So, gentlemen, we want to continue confirming to you that if there is genocide that has been committed, it is the people of Mount Kenya. And we are removing ourselves from it. And I can tell you this will be an embarrassment for us as a country when the truth keeps coming out. The information that we have is in affidavits. So in affidavits that are also part of the petitions that we have filed in, uh, in the Supreme Court. And the reason for this press conference is to continue letting you know that uh, we are aware of what happened. And we'll continue getting more aware as people come forward. Let me tell you, the killing of the, the arrow from Mebakasi has scared some of the officers of IBC who had there before frontiered to give evidence. Killing of witnesses is not a new thing in this country. And I think the DCI and other institutions or agencies could charge with it to take care of those people. The stealing was done, and I can tell you here, it was done by UDA with Kahoot, with IBC. And it is not a thing that happened one day or two days, it's a thing that had been, it was part of the strategy, campaign strategy that was there. And I can also tell you that uh, when uh, they start speaking, because we'll call you and tell you more the kind of money that was being given to households because bribery was being done throughout the night. We had no elections in Mount Kenya. Something more interesting that we are seeing, there was an attempt to make Raida look like he had not been accepted in Mount Kenya. But in some of the counties, like Kirinjanga, for example, Laida had more votes than the governor candidate of Jubilee in Kirinjanga. And it is not the only one. So even imagining that uh, he, he was not accepted in Mount Kenya, that's another eye. So we are looking forward to the outcome of the, this petition at the Supreme Court. An injustice has been committed to Kenyans, and especially from Mount Kenya region, it was a targeted area. Embu, William Ruto went to Embu 147 times. One hundred and forty-seven. Where is the lady? Here. Ilikuwa pale. Lazima akuja kanyaga kwa ile pale pale. Because I believe they had uh, a, a special scheme in Embu. And I can tell you, in the in Bere North, Bere North, Bere North, in Bere North, yes, it is Bere North, yes, Bere North, go and do your due diligence. Most of the POs were relatives of Justin Moturi, most of the POs, they were relatives of Jagagua, and they were relatives of Karaoke Mate, all of them Uda. How also we ended up with brothers of Uda being recruited as POs. It is upon you also to, to think through it. Again, it is not rocket science. Kwa hivo, tunataka kuambia kwamba hapa, tuku na, na, na uchahidi ya kutosha kujua kwamba hakuna kula ilipigwa Mount Kenya. Iyo wizi ya bawe tulifanyua, tutayadika kwa historia baada kumalizana na Marble Supreme Court. But we really want us to 
deal with this issue and deal with it properly. We want to thank Laira Moro Odinga and Mother Karua, the Azimio fraternity, because this stealing did not ha has never happened before, and we are still peaceful in this country. We want to thank them for calling upon our supporters to remain peaceful. This is very annoying. It is something that requires a lot of courage and um, love for the country for you not to explode. I thank you. If it were possible, this is not an election, by the way. It is not. If only that, uh, if only we can nullify the whole of it and go back to the debate. This is just like the Chaboric nominations that are done by parties. And we never imagined that an institution like IABC, which is independent, would let the ball that. In fact, it's not letting the ball down. It's conniving with a party in this manner. So to us, it is not going to be possible because we don't want to disrupt the country. But this is not an election. Yes, Mutia, you are again. Were they present in Nabuduki and Nakarai? Yes. But you know the work of the police officer is uh, to ensure that there is order. So there must have been order in the stealing. This is to ensure that everything is orderly. So whether you are stealing, order. Whether you are voting properly, order. You do your case, you are <laughs> We can only leave it uh, to you and I to guess. Yes, but there was order in all the stations. Yes. Where yes. do you get the information you are sharing with that? These are people. These are all... Uh, uh, coordinators from across the county. And the interesting bit is we have it a bit torn on all these issues. Why should we trust? Well, you don't have to trust me. Why should I trust you? <laughs> <laughs> Why should I trust you? I mean, you, only want, you want to see me crying in the church with a Bible so that you trust me? <laughs> Any other question? Asante sana. Kumanisha umeerewa. Amambo imeingia. Wara watu wakikuyu? That's all? Yeah? Nimesema, niseme tuko wa kiswaili eh, kwa sababu nitajaribu hiyo igine pole pole ya kwamba juzi tulisema ya kwamba kule Mount Kenya region and especially counties that had kikuyus because that is what was targeted by UDA. There was nothing like a yellow wave. Oh, you require Kiswahili? Ah, yeah, yeah, ah, yeah. Nasema ya kwamba, sehemu ambazo sili, tumetoka kupika uchaguzi tareatisa. Na sehemu ambazo sinaitwa Mount Kenya, na sana sana zile ambao zina wakikuyu idadi kubwa kuliko kuigineko, wakuna uchaguzi ulifanyika. Na sababu yake ni kwa sababu yale mambo ambayo tumeendelea kupokea kutoka wale ambao tulikuwa tumewapa kazi ya kutuangalilia kuobserve wametuletea mambo ambayo ni ajabu mambo ambayo tumeyaweka katika affidavits na mtayapata kule kotini na mengi kati yao ni kwamba idadi ya wale ambao walitokea kupiga kula haikufika ile ambayo tunaambiwa na IBC siju 50% ama 60% ama ni, ilikuwa chini ya 40% 40 Eh, eh, asilimia arubaini eh, kuenda chini La pili ni kwamba Agents wetu kwa kila station Walikuwa napatiwa one, eh, Ni kama kulikuwa na instruction moja Ya kwamba hawezi ukaigia kwa polling station Kwa sababu barua yako haijapigwa muhuli Kwa hivyo ma agents wetu wa kuigia kwa polling station kul, Mapema ya saine Watu walikuwa naigia kuanzia saine Kurudi njuma si, Nini ilikuwa inafanyika kuanzia saa 12 ama saa 11 mpaka saa 4. La tatu ni wale ambao walisaidiwa kupiga kula. Na kwa sababu ni watu ambao wanatusikia na ni wa Kenya. Ni vizuri wajue ya kwamba hii mambo ya kufanya udaganyivu kwa kula hata Mwenyezi Mungu atakulaani we mwenyewe. Akina mama ambao walifanya hao na wazee na wengine tunawajua wanajua kusoma 
anaingia kwa, kwa polling station na anasema hajui kusoma lakini pio amewaweka agents wetu kule kwa kona hapa anauliza swali mama unataka kupigia nani kura kuna vyama vingi hapa kuna uda na hizo zingine unataka gani na mama anasema hiyo umesema ile ingine pio anauliza anaambiwa mama anakuja ama anasema sijui kusoma nichagulie the, the pio mwenyewe ana tick zote bila hata kuita agents a common happening across the, the areas na pia wao pia wanachaga ni kwa nini ballot boxes zilikuwa zinaonekana zimejaa tagu walipoingia paka mwisho walikuwa naweza hao watu ambao walipiga kula walikuwa akina nani tumepata kujua kwamba kama kule nakuru wale ambao ndi walikuwa deputy returning officers wa, kati ya kumi na moja ambao waliajiriwa nakuru kumi walikuwa wametoka kwa kabila moja mmoja tu ndio alikuwa ameajiriwa kutoka Turkana baada ya nyeri tunaambiwa kwamba eh, ballot papers sili, siliisha kama ile Davi polling station kabaru ballot papers za women left siliisha hii kijina ni kubwa kiawa kiawa idhaje agodi ga keyword pia kule ballot papers siliisha na al o mwenyewe aliconfirm akahakikisha na akasema kwa kuandika katika mambo ya ya, ya simu ya, ya kwamba kweli walipatiwa ballot papers ambazo hasitoshani na wale ambao wanapiga kura kwa hizo stations wewe jiulize na kichwa yako e, yale umesikia Chabukati akisema na hii tunaambiwa na aro wizi ambao unazidi wizi wa mifugo bora primary school polling station Kimskit ni Nyandarwa. Kimskit ilia kufika saa mbili. Watu tisini tu ndio walikuwa wameweza kuidikua identify kupitia Kimskit. Iliwabidi waende mpaka saa tisa ya usiku. Na tunataka kujua hawa watu wa, wa Mirangine wanapiga kura saa tisa ya usiku. Nyandarwa. Na ile baridi tunajua inakuwa saa tisa ya usiku. Ni akina nani walikuwa wanapiga hii kura saa tisa ya usiku huko Nyandarwa? Tharaka Kathiori Kidiori Primary School walifukua station saa 12 wakaiwacha wazi mpaka midnight tena ni akina nani hawa walikuwa wanapiga kura midnight kule kule Kethioroka Primary School pia walifukua station saa bili ya usiku na ikaachwa wazi mpaka saa moja ya jioni saa moja ya usiku ama asubuhi 1 am haya mambo na mengine mengi ambayo tunaweza taja ni mambo ya kuonekana kwamba kule Mount Kenya counties kaunti yote ambayo ilikuwa na mkikuyu ilitagetiwa na watu ama ili, ilikuwa imelengwa na wale ambao walichora kupiga kuiba kula na lia la kustusha ni la kustua ni kwamba hii wizi ilifanyika IBC ikiwa ndani na ndio naona petition kule kotini ni sisi na IBC kwa sababu wao walikuwa wafanye kazi ya kuchunga ilikuwa sisi tu ni kuangalia mzee sisema ya kwamba tulikuwa tuzuie hao ndio ndio wanalipwa na tumewapatia pesa kuhakikisha ambao hakuna wizi. Kwa hivyo hakuna uchaguzi ulifanyika Kenya hii. The most chaboric election that we have ever had in this country. The most hii ni bofu kuliko ile party nominations. Ile watu wanakibia wana na ballot boxes kwa barabara. Bude kabisa hii kitu. Mwana ni kai. You you are a finish. I love to ongea na nyinyi hapo kati. Yes. Yes.